Well, hello and good morning. It's raining and I'm starting a mini beano inside the car. Oh, the rain's supposed to finish. I hope so. Anyway, um, it's Saturday the 13th of May 2017. The rain is good for my potatoes and my onions and the weeds. Never mind. Anyway, um, Western Supermare. <laughs> Western Supermare. Without the helicopter museum this time, it's all about the fine ales and the stop off on the way at Gordano for coffee. Overnight in the Premier Inn. Premier Inn, all you can eat breakfast and then come home and pay for the bridge. I'm looking forward to it. And I'm dressed for rain, just in case. The Criterion. That's where I'll be ending up. There'll be Tesco's and there'll be Weatherspoons. And there'll be lots and lots of fine ales. Anyway, hashtag MB06, the 2017 edition. Ah, Gordino. Where it is spotting. And they have coffee. Which is nice. Mm. Different to the last time I was here. Packed out. I think that was July. 2016. Well, this is seaside-ish. That's my car park. I'm parked somewhere over there. Um, I'm not even off to get a sure. However, first spoons of the day. Let's start with a bit of carpet for Mr. Manning. And when you are in Somerset, you drink a beer from Somerset. This is Old Buzzard by Cotley. 4.8% alcohol by volume. It says dark ale. It is dark. I put it down as a fruity mild. It's interesting. B plus. Good enough start to the day. And this is number two, also from Somerset. This is Mine Beer from Blindman's, 4.2% alcohol by volume. £2.15 a pint, which isn't bad. That's sort of fruity in a non citrusy sort of way. Getting malt. <laughs> Slightly malty and bitter finish. I'm thinking B. Plus. Yeah. The second by the spoons of the day. Lovely bit of carpet, Mr. Manning. And I can see the pier over that way. And I can see the sands over that way because the tide is out. And this, this is from the beer studio. 5% alcohol by volume. £2.65. See from prices, you see. This is Warrior Venture Ruby Red Ale. Bitter roast coffee. Okay, aroma. I can't smell anything, but that's not unusual. Mm. Mm. It's not roast coffee. Mm. I would say fruity. But not citrusy. B plus. Totally unexpected and different. Well, I'm back and it was January last time. Well, there's an ad for Timothy Taylor's landlord. 
there's an offy down there as well. This is all very good. I am very pleased to be back. And nice carpet. And local ales. This is Shed Rails Totty Pot 4.5 Totty Pot. I don't know the derivation of that anyway. Um, 4.5% alcohol by volume, a stout, as you can probably tell. And five of the cabinet speeds. Almost symmetrical either. Either. Yeah. Mm. Burnt notes bitterness. B plus, but oh, really long burnt bitter finish. Yeah, I'm not a great stout person, but I have rolls at a quid a piece. I might have two. You know, I just realised what this looks like, so don't take it the wrong way. But you can't beat a pint and some rolls. This is. Amber by Otter, 4% alcohol by volume. Smells gently hoppy. Tastes gently hoppy. B plus. Gently slipping away. And this will be my last. This is big job, big job. Yeah. By St. Austell from Cornwall, 7.2% alcohol by volume. A double IPA. Is it a double IPA in the accepted tents? Oh, I don't know. Anyway, I don't think it's cloud water. It smells hoppy. Hugely hoppy, but not a cloud water double IPA. I like it though, B plus in a bit.